IFO, so I can't make the screen any bigger for that. It's a 24 by 30 centimetres canvas board sent to me by a friend, Arthur. Arthur, <coughs> living in Finland, very kind of him. Uh, the, the, my palette is a, the Masterson Stay Wet palette, and it uh, keeps the paint, paint workable for quite some time. I need to just put out a bit more white, a bit lower the whites. Oh, cool. Well, I've seen a camera I like. It's a, a Panasonic uh, v, it's a camcorder V770. And one of my colleagues uh, on YouTube, he was a guy probably on uh, Patreon uh, years ago, some years ago, John. John, John. I heard me mention John, J O N. Uh, Smoothie 77. If you want to learn to draw the basics of drawing, he's an absolute brilliant teacher. And he's got a great channel. I, I never really went in for drawing. I, I went more or less straight into painting. So I draw with the brush. Uh, I do a bit of, bit of sketching, which I like uh, for painting. But I tend not to. Uh, I'm trying to find a way. A little pencil, like a clutch pencil. Here it is. You know what it's doing up there. There we are. So I just draw a horizon. There's some Norfolk, North Norfolk hills in the background. And a bit of a, bit of a Been on a bike ride today. Uh, though we want some. Well, actually, though we want that I? I just want some, some sort of trees on the, on this background here. So we'll put a sky in using some vet gel. Blue, but it doesn't go on blue. So I want a little bit of bit of a lighter blue up here. That's a little bit blue in the corner. I'm working from memory here from uh, one I did about seven or eight years ago. Uh, my pal Joe Menza went back into the archives and, had a, and found it. And I thought, cool, that's a good painting, that one. It really worked. But that was in oil. Well, let's just clean on the brush. Uh, I need painting there. Mm -hmm. Well, it is a blow. I've run out of painting there. Well, I haven't run out. I didn't cut any. I thought I had some in here. Uh, oh, well, here's, here's one I used yesterday. Can I use that one? Uh, okay. Now we'll put in some cloud. Uh, well, not a clip, but sort of summery cloud. Just a touch of, touch of blue. We've got it all sort of feathered. Some uh, burnt sienna is very good for a cloud colour, but it's quite it's an artist's quality, it's quite quite strong. Look. Now being a critic it will dry quite quickly. Just 
replace my YouTube blog. Uh, Now I'm, I'm trying out to the, whether to use uh, Payne's Grey for some cloud. Oh, uh, the bite was one. It came back with a, a puncture. My word, when you're riding on a soft tyre and it keeps pumping up, it really does challenge. And now I've got crap in my hand. I probably shouldn't be doing this one. But I need to probably rest. Oh, we'll, we'll, use, we'll use a bit of a bit of this and a bit of that. Some more paint's great. Yes, it was our weekly buy a ride along the Wandle. There's only two of us today. Oh, I've got nothing in mind here. I need light on the horizon because I'm going to put my dark trees and I want them to to show up. Just work away till you've got something that you like. Uh, okay, well, there's a nice gentle sky. Okay, well it's a quite a nice sky. It's still a lighter on the horizon there. We could uh, just put a little bit of suggestions in there. Right, okay, now we'll put in those trees. I'll use this one here, this brush. 
Payne's, well, this Payne's Way. Payne, I'm going to just use Payne's Way, probably a touch of red and a cad yellow. Okay, so Payne's Way, a bit of, bit of that gel. A bit of blue. So I give a bit of impression of. Going in quite light touch with this. To the tooth of the board. They're very good these boards. I don't use them very often, only when people send them to me. Now this is going to be in a bit of way. Red does in the red. The red's sort of drying out now. Been on there for a couple of several days. Tiling's been done on the shower room at the moment. The great craftsman doing the floor and the ceramic floor. Oh, it's just, a, just an impression of the trees. somewhere around about there. A lot of this is going to be uh, stipple. Right now we've got a simple brush, which is where has it gone? Well, oh, this one, worn out brush. Uh, we'll put a bit of a meadow, a bit of green meadow across there. Might change that to yellow ochre. Oh, a bit of red in there. No, I don't like that. A bit of shadow. Just reminds me of the boardwalk this morning on the, ri on the river Wandle, on the Wandle Valley. And on the boardwalk, it's, a, it's all owned by the National Trust, or not owned, but uh, administered by the National Trust. And they have this gorgeous boardwalk they put in several years ago, with all the trees on the horizon. It's quite a close horizon, I have to say. But there's some water, it's a little water, very high water table here. Marsh grass, 
And there's a bit of it which they've kept as a, a lovely sort of pond for wildlife. And the children love it. And us, us older children love it as well. We very appreciate it. There were some volunteers picking up litter. Was why people should leave this for about. It's a ruin for everybody else, don't they? So the wonder of the river wonder is here. A small river, it's only 16 miles long, uh, meandering through South London. Uh, but this is a <laughs> the Wonder Valley, this is a bit of Norfolk. Uh, right, we need some shadow colour in that, so let's get some red and blue. Bit of white. Bit more of that blue. Because that give a bit of a nice... to oil some oil watercolours. They're easy to cover with. Oh, let's just try to get some uh, variety. Close that in just the edge, edge of the pond. Same here. Oops. Okay, so a bit of an impression of something going on there. change it as I go. If I don't like it, just keep going. And it, so you get something you do like. And being a critic is very forgiving because it dries very quickly and you can scumble over it. Maybe those trees are not dark enough, I don't know. Oh, I'll go back to them. Clean my brush. Oh, I want to do a, do a windmill. But I need a windmill brush. Mm -hmm. I've got a half inch brush but it, it just sprays, it doesn't lay itself. Um, I might, I'll use a fine brush, one of those worn out uh, riggers. So we want uh, a, bit, a bit of ochre.
here. I could uh, put white, we can't really have a white tip, but although of these are painted white, although they're obsolete now. Yeah. Homes for wealthy people who can afford to restore them because they, they're not used for anything else other than lovely holiday houses or people just living in them. A lot of them were water pumps on the uh, on the broads, the Norfolk broads. That's the name for for the Sarah Norfolk broads. We've had several holidays here, and then you've got to something like. Uh, so there's a wheel on the back here that turns the turret to catch the wind. So let's uh, uh, <laughs> quite tricky this. with a touch of water. These are beautiful when they're restored. So it costs thousands. Try a bit of water. Sharpening the brush. I'm just sort of painting this from memory. Okay. That looks a better. Clean the brush. Uh, just straighten up a little bit. Back with the uh, stipple. Let's go do a little bit to that there. Uh, get a nice light yellow.
It's all dry, let's just drag some of that green over them. Uh -huh. uh, well, let's leave that for a minute. I've got a little bit of filling in it there. But put in some water now. We've got this lovely bit of blue. Put some lovely cloud in. It's a horrible colour that is, isn't it? Right, okay, let's uh, get some white. Just reflecting a bit of that light. some more white, let's just clean the palette. Bit of tissue. Now this is only a small painting. <coughs> oh, I might get it short of this. That's a burnt sienna, just paints grey, because we want that to be the dark aspect, a bit more of that paint. Now, water looks difficult, but if you just have been the surrounding pond all these uh, lovely stalks no just 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 a few goes a long way go a long way right now we just put in some some plain white A bit more dark. They, this is uh, transporting uh, Norfolk to uh, to Surrey. And we just put earlier in the season before they cut all the, the grass back. I mean, it's thatching grass really. Um, there was a family of moorhens in all heavily disguised, but the, the mum used to come out. I don't know to the dad. Oh. Uh 
home. That just says water because we've got reflection. But you can see to the bottom, it's only about three feet deep. But the children love it. They absolutely love it. Well, we'll leave that for a moment. We'll just go back and see if we can improve that background. Give it a bit more green. But with plenty of light in it as well. So let's just go. It's really. Paint's grey. Just a little bit of touch of, a, of the brush, let's just get some here. And we'll do some grasses uh, here, so we'll have some greenery. Some of that yellow, it's not the yellow I would prefer, I prefer cadmium yellow pale. But uh, it's doing okay. To a dark green. Still not sure that needs to be darker, darker blue in there, blue. Just check that down. Now we'll go back with some more reflection. Ooh. Just a gentle kiss. Oh, I think I'll let that go. Let's see if there's anything more. So I don't think I've got a mount, Ooh, a mount for this. Uh, so I've got a blue one, but it might be it's too large. Oh, no, it's not bad. Oh, if I've got a bigger one, hang on. to show you that. Uh, uh, mm. Oh, we'll just have a look at it. Out on the broads. Out on the north foot broods. I hope you like that one, folks. Thanks for looking. And I'll see you soon. Bye, bye. Thank you.